sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour. Well, hello. You catch <laughs> us right in the middle of... this. Is It's all good fun, this. Don't you just love it when you get to a couple of minutes before the show's due to go out and you bust the coil on the very thing that you're going to be showing that you hadn't busted the coil on? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It is absolutely marvellous to see you on this Thursday night, the uh, 5th of September, which has been full of all kinds of wonderful things going on. It has, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed? Yes. Did you, you, did you go I through? hadn't noticed until you told me. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, we probably better fill everybody in. That would be wise. But we'll fill everybody in. After the titles, Keith, I'm going to play them really loud for you tonight. Hey, thanks. I look, you know, I missed this. <laughs> Chris laughing in the I background. Re I really missed this. <laughs> you have, have you? I'm braced. It'll be re he's braced. Are you braced? Yes. Are you braced? I'm you've ready. Got, got, he's I'm got ready his feet again. flat on the floor. No, I've got my toes curled. That's what we like to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the Hayes Hour. And there you go. That was the, them. Was them with the titles, Keith? You enjoyed that, didn't you? I did. You, you'd say him hey, banging. I'm still mesmerised. Is that what it, what you call it? Well, you could use that mesmerized word. Mesmerised or marmalised? Which? Uh, uh, well, I could think of something else. But I'm I don't know. sure you could. Um, right. Let's let's explain what's been going on during the course of today. Those of you that are on Twitter might have picked up on this, but as you might recall, at the end of last night's show, keep an eye on chat and fear I miss anything. I will. By the end of last night's show, we had said that the vote on the Tobacco Products Directive was going to be put off until October, which was where it originally was. And we suggested that it would be a good idea to contact your MEPs and MPs and everybody else and tell them what it was you wanted. And this morning, at about quarter past nine, I got a phone call from Brussels to tell me that Ms McAvan, 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 her, had, in her infinite wisdom, discovered Rule 140, which allows uh, any MAP that gets 40 signatures to add something new to the agenda for the current sitting in plenary, as in, in Strasbourg. All right? So word came out to us that Mrs. McAvan was gaining the 40 signatures to try to get the Tobacco Products Directive put back into the September plenary meeting, which happens next week. If you're on Twitter, you will have seen that Twitter went wild with that. You might also have seen that there were exchanges between the Aldi group and S&D and S&D and EPP and all of these various different groups. Right, so here's the situation. Here's how it stands. We will not know until Monday an hour before the session is due to start, that is the deadline for a Rule 140 amendment to be made. If she's going to try it, that's probably when it's likely to happen. However, the minute I got the phone call from Brussels, I rang Martin Callanan's office and I also spoke to Fiona Hall's office. And Martin Callanan tells us it's not very likely that this would succeed. So a little later on during the course of the day, Mrs. McAvan posted up on Twitter and her blog that it's all happening in October. Therefore, that's what we're taking it at as at, taking it as at the minute. But it does mean that we need to make every MEP that we're aware of, this is throughout Europe, 
make every MEP that you know is on side at least aware that this might be happening and please ask them to be prepared to be in Strasbourg to vote the Amendment 140 edition down and be prepared to discuss the Tobacco Products Directive. That said, I'm cautiously optimistic because Renata Summer, who we spoke to on Tuesday, Savanai, has also posted onto her blog, again this is being tweeted, that things look good for e-cigs in the Tobacco Products Directive. Now then, what are we doing? Yep. Okay, as Mark Shaw has said, if she's posted that, he can't help but question her motives. Could be a ploy to try and make us complacent. That's what worries me. That's why I'm saying we need to be in touch with the MEPs that we know are backing us. That's everybody in the Aldi group, Lib Dems. Um, a large proportion of EPP, according to Renata Summer, everybody in ECR, that's Conservatives for us in the UK, and I, I don't know the names of the parties in the other countries, but we do need to make sure that MEPs are aware that this is a possibility, that it's been rumoured, it's been mooted, it might happen. Please make everybody aware. If we do that, if everybody's prepared, then it's not that much of a problem, I don't think, because I honestly think there's so much sense to not making e-cigs medicinal that people are going to see that and word I'm getting is that more and more MEPs are coming round to that way of thing and, and, it, and it does make a lot of sense. Um, Kaz J says she thought uh, that he, he thought McCavan posted the blog before the 140 thing came out which makes you think it's a smoke screen. Trust me on this one it was very early this morning that I got the rumour through. I mean I was barely I just staggered down the stairs that the phone went and to let me know so you can't take anything for granted. We, if we think the worst, it's like it's an old friend of mine used to say, if you think the worst of somebody, you're very rarely disappointed. Mm. Yes. That's where I'm at. If we think the worst, we're not going to be disappointed if it turns out not to be the case. It's as well to be prepared, like good Boy Scouts. Mm. Mm. Be prepared. It's the only way to go. Only way to go. That's it. Funny Tricksters just said it. Think the worst and hope for the best. That's exactly where we need to be. And uh, Midge Dog reckons you have to plan for the worst if a caravan is involved. See the play on words. That's <laughs> good, then. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very did well you done. did you sit on a bottle of juice, by the way? No, I didn't. I moved it. Did you? Do you know what it is? <coughs> yes, I do. Now I'm going to tell everybody this because they probably don't. He's got a servant. I've not got a servant. He's he getting Sav to make his juice for him. Just this particular one, because it does it so well. All right. Yes. What is it? What is, fire yeah. and ice. Fire and ice. Fire Have you ever had fire and ice? No. It's fabulous. Shall I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a change to our advertised program. Fire and ice. Yeah. Fire and ice. Oh, you've got some in there, have you? Oh, it's me every day there. No, it's his every day there. Every day there, Brown. It's, it's Thanks no. very much. Thank you, Sav. It's much appreciated. Alan, yes, you do have to ask yourself why she is at such pains to get it pushed through quickly. I tell you why, because she doesn't believe if people have time to realise what's going on, or she thinks if people have time to realise what's going on and what it all means, she knows it won't get through. That's why she's panicking. <coughs> <coughs> what's have you going tried on? tried this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that satisfying? Yeah, satisfying. Is it? What you got it set up? It's a blast. Seven, seven watts, I think. So, as you can as you can see, this program is very very tightly scripted. It's a cross between menthol and mint. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yes. Mm. The cinnamon. 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 Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Very nice. And has she invented this? Is it her own concoction? I believe. I <coughs> think she might have invented it. You sure with that salves? It is salves, yeah. It's very light on the menthol. For Sabs. Because I wanted it cinnamon heavy. Really? Yes. So is that what can it, is that what she she's probably I don't know whether she's she's probably made that more mental heavy than cinnamon. Sav, I know you're in chat, Medea. Have you made oh, this one that you left? It was cinnamon the Belgian heavy. who created it. Oh, it's the Belgian. I just uh, yes. the ruin, uh, yes. Pick out uh, I hadn't quite Yes, Sav, what? can you Tell me, is it mental heavy? Is it mental or heavy or what? Heavy? This is this is going to be the show with no script. It's just going to happen. Not as much. Well, there's only one way to find out. I've got these. These have come mm -hmm. from Surface Eggs. They're the smock right. um, version 
I'm of the uh, of the AVOD. Mm. And what I thought I was going to do, what I thought I might do, is give you one each to take away and play with. All right. How's that sound? Right. Uh, but it might be a good idea, I think, since uh, Darren's sitting here with this good big bottle of juice that, that's been made for him because he's too lazy and idle to make it himself. No, I don't trust myself a fire and ice. That's why I leave it in the capable hands of Sam. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you don't mind if I fill one up for... Not at all. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Yes, there's a cinnamon aftertaste. Oh, it's lovely. It's, it's Even I like it. And it's, again, it's Just one put it in a bottle, you kind of get the juice out of. It's one of these juices that don't lose flavour. No matter how much you've ate it, it, it just doesn't lose flavour. Which is why it, now it's, a, it's an everyday vape. The last time it was apple caramel, and surprisingly enough, since vaping this, the apple caramel isn't as flavourful. Where were you born? Mm. Me. Aye. No shields. Why are you calling it apple caramel? It's apple <coughs> gani. Well, apple gani. But, but to the viewers who don't know what apple gani is... Well, you explain it, man. Well, apple gani it's called, but, uh, but for the viewers who aren't from mm. our neck of the woods, it's apple caramel. Caramel apple pie. Caramel apple pie. It's an aye, it's a pie. It's got a crust. And then a layer of apples, and then the gani on the top. All right. What do you see our first? It used to be gansey. For Guernsey, it was like a, a pullover put on the top of the apples. Gorgeous stuff. Oh, look, Sav's taking orders now. I, I found that that um, vanilla custard didn't lose flavour. No, it doesn't. It either. doesn't lose smell either. No. When you, you opened the door next door the other morning, the flavour flooded out. It was right. custardly custard. Did I ask sunshine? Thank you very much. Do you want sir. to fill it up with this? Uh, I will, actually. You fill it up with that. I'll tell you what, while you're filling that one, I've given you the pink one. Don't ask me oh, why. Thank you so if you much. fill me the red one, I will you? Do. Thank you very So you much. want me to take this off and, and put this? Wait if you want, yeah. Be all right, won't it? Yes. You know what you're doing? Yes. Have you got a scrubly and doobly? A scrubly and doobly. I tell you what. Put it in there. Thank you. There you are. There's a tip for you. This is all good stuff. While that conversation was going on, I could have been play playing with cameras, you know. You could have been. This is conversation between three folks that really don't know what they're doing um, shall we while you were doing that shall we talk about the new MVP version too yes do you want to talk yes, about absolutely. the new MVP version oh you've yeah. got it on have you yes does it match oh yes oh it's very beautiful. look at that it's yeah, look that at that I'll, I'll put it on go and have a drag then Keith that's a very sexy shot of you you know that don't you oh look at this Hey, sex on a stick. Mm. Can you not find the button? Oh, there we go. That's a cracking shot. That's quite pleasant, that. And how do you how are you finding that new? Uh, uh, very easy on the draw. Wish I could remember what it was called. What? The device. My brain's like Swiss cheese. I've been thinking all politics and very little ah. else. Gary Dibley's care fun is full of custard. Dirty beast. Yes. Arrow, that's it. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, there's a nice aftertaste to that. Oh, it is gorgeous. Well, you know, Sav's good at what she does. Yes, I said she last is. night, she's, she's amazing. She is, she's amazing. She'll amazing have to person. patent that. Yeah. Patent it? Oh, don't do things like that. Look, Daz is very busy filling things up. I am. Are you getting there? I am. Is that the pink one or the red one? That's the pink one. Oh, you've done yours first. Well, no, because the, the top came off easier than what this, the red one does. Ah, uh, see. Terrible. Yes, it, it, it is the smock. Look at that. Uh, yeah. they, they just talk. They just talk. Oh, they just sorry. Keep on talking. <gasps> it's <laughs> called the Arrow. A-R-O. The Smock Arrow. Now, I was using one while I've... Because I've been away on holiday, smock. you know. Really? Aye. 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 Um, while we were away, I, I took, uh, took the others <coughs> and I put one on, blue one on. And every night we went out, I took it with me as, a, as kind of a, a backup. And I would just sit and drag it if I wasn't too sure about where we were. I tell you, the flavour's grand in them. Mm. Do you think? Yeah. Well, you won't know yet because you're not there. Yet, Look at that, squeeze like a good and does. Go on, give it a good it's, squeeze. <laughs> it's this is, this is This is muscles. This is muscles. Sounds like a parenthesis. Yeah, no, no. It's, have you seen that the size of the neck on the... There. Tiny little wee doodah. I always have difficulty in, in, in seeing it in the window. Hello, Sif Zeeks. 
Yeah, it's have a, just have a peep in there before you... Pardon? Oh. No. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it needs to be well lit for you to see through I'm, the window. I'm properly in control. Do Dave. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> All good. Right. Shall we? Yeah. Well, since I've had a different tank on this mine. Look at this. Well, it's just... He's just got a nice black tube with a pink end on it. Look at that, 2.4 <laughs> inches. <laughs> quite, quite. Uh, there you go. How's that working for you? These are the smock arrows from Surfer Seeks. Has it soaked in? Get me. I'm going to stick it on the MVP version 2. It's, um... Is it? Very, very, very flavourful, but like Sav says, it's it's different with this one being heavy, heavy on the, the menthol. Yes, it is. It, it, yeah, it is heavy on the menthol. Yeah. And I'm not a menthol, mm. a menthol person. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, is rather yeah. heavy on the menthol, isn't it? Rather, that's Sav. Yeah, that's, Th that's what I was menthol. expecting when you said the other one was. Oh, God. Gosh, she's a bit of a menthol, uh, menthol addict, mania? isn't she? Well, uh, yes. Mm. Uh, have a red one as well. What for? Because I didn't like it. Because he doesn't like it. Menthol, it's horrible. Oh, I thought it was the nice one to serve you poisonous. Look at him sitting there. That's just unfair. Look at his face. Happy as a pig in I thought thing. it was just me on the menthol emphasis. But, uh, but I think it's like, it's not menthol that I know menthol, obviously, because it's fire and ice, but it's still very refreshing. No. Oh, God. There's well, one. I've tasted stuff that was much more menthol than that. Have you? It's good. Which Brilliant vapour <coughs> production. Excellent vapour production. Isn't it? It's not too airy. It's uh, very flavourful. Oh, we're talking about the arrow now mm. and not the juice. What do you reckon, Keith? Yeah, I reckon the same, yes. Excellent. Yes. I, I think they're brilliant. It, they, they, uh, they were working very well during the uh, the hot weather because it was up in the 40s where we were. Did you just blow a ring? I did. I felt rather confident, so I was blowing by, by accident. Well, do it again, do it again. Go on. <laughs> das can blow rings. Watch the shape of his mouth. There you, oh, you can see he's been practising. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Alan's been practising on a night. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we go. Um, shall we? I love it how you say here we go. How long have we been on it? <laughs> <laughs> Over a quarter of an hour. <laughs> I, was, I was actually told... Uh, when we came off air last night, we had a 15 minute show tonight because we'd used all the bandwidth up last night. But <coughs> we not, we'll do the full hour, the here's hour. Um, look, I tell you what, this is ridiculous. Let's take some adverts and. <laughs> Are you finished messing about then? Yes, I I'm fine now. Are you alright, Keith? I'm fine, yes. yes, yes. We're good, we're good. You know I'm going to get my backside <laughs> kicked off Chris when we go into the adverts. You know that, don't you? Oh, dear me. You go, I can't remember how to drive the tech. Never mind. <laughs> We'll be back in a couple of minutes, and when we come back, we're definitely going to look at the MV. Oh, God. <laughs> the MV. It's the menthol that's made me teeth itch. Yes. We'll be looking at the MVP version 2. We will be looking at the Kraken, and then God only knows. It just. I, we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Safer6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Out.
Saber Six, sponsors of the Hayes Hour. And we're back, we're back in the room, and now. Those of you that are watching on Video On Demand, I'm here to tell you that Sav's owned up in chat and said that that wasn't the one that she'd specially mixed up for Daz. She didn't. She just tipped some of hers in the bottle. I knew that was Sav's strength menthol. Dear God, girl, how have you got any teeth left? Um, right, MVP version 2. Everybody that's had an eye taste MVP will know that they fit in the hand rather pleasantly. Um, and, and I've had one for a little while, which I quite like. And you would think, well, what can they do to make the IV, the eye taste MVP <coughs> two any better? Well, let's have a look at it close up and we'll be able to see. It doesn't look a great deal different from the norm until I put it that way up and then do some zoomage in. This is quite a very good change. <gasps> You'll be able to see what it says there. VV VW display. Let me run you through it very quickly. Press the little button. And it'll tell you I've had 119 drags. That's how much I've used it. But if you hold it down, it goes into where we're at. 7.5, 8, 8, 5, 9. This is the VW side of it. Up to 11 and then round again from 6. Where was I set, Daz? Uh, 6 point. Nah, I was higher than that. I'll go up, we'll go up to 8. Right. Be a little devil and go to 8. Of course... If you press the bottom button, again, it does the same thing, and we're at 3.6, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you can carry on up, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, go all the way around, sorry about the fingerprints, it is a fingerprint magnet. So that's now in voltage mode, and if you go back in and press the P again, boink, it takes you back to where you were, puts it back into, into uh, power mode. Now, if I screw on, one of the iClear 16s that came with it and you get two in the box and then hold the two buttons down I'll try that again two buttons this is not easy using one finger to get two buttons there you go 2.6 ohms and I've got four volts left in my battery wow. so that's the kind of thing that it'll do and I'm here to tell you it works rather pleasantly mm. I've not had it, well it arrived today with Alfie. Oh Alfie's been Alfie. a game. Have a chuck with that. And that's at 8 watts. Because you saw us set it. I clear 16. Um, while you were sucking on it does and you can... Uh, the button's different. Yes, the button's raised. Yeah. Mm. Yes, you'll like it. I think that's that's definitely better compared to the original because the original the button was extremely clicky on it where this one's I don't remember trying the original it was really well we did when did we, we did the um, the bite extra and I coughed a lung up I'm sure that was on the MVP was it? Mm. Was it? Mm. yeah it might have been but the button was extremely clicky and I always wondered about carrying one of them in your pocket Right. Oh, it's fine. Three yeah. clicks off, three clicks on. Uh, same with this? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Three clicks off and three clicks on. That's very nice, lad. Have a go, Keith. Very nice. Taste it, love it. That's what it says. Lovely handheld device. Taste it, love it. I'm getting that tattooed just below my belly button. Blaze has just pointed out that they made the uh, the beauty ring smaller. What's a beauty ring? When it's a That's the bit that hides the threads when you haven't got a. Oh. a but I I just like it on there. Aye. And if you you know if you clag something else on. Mm. Yes. God, it produces. It mm. does. <coughs> well, that's, yeah, that's twice that you vape the night and it's caught on your chest. That's not usually you. You normally can have bite extra anything and you've got lungs of steel. He has. It's true. It's all gone quiet while everybody What have you got in it? 
Oh, Y6? Right. Mmm. Nice? Yes. Uh-huh. I haven't got any spare. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting like a smoky shaft in here, or yeah. a vapory shaft. It's nice in the hand. Yes, it is. Give it a try. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, really it's, suspicious. It's really interesting uh, that a lot of the, the tanks that are coming out now are really, really good on vapour production. Like the likes of these and the... The Arrow. Yes. The Arrow and the... Yes. Um, on the MVP. I clear. The, the Eye Clear and things like that. Yes. The vapour production's getting better and better on them all the time. Well, again, I mean, I've, I've got to say, while, while we were away, I took a couple of uh, Vision Victories with us. Never dropped a beat. Took a couple of pro tanks. Jill was on a pro tank. She's nicked me Evic. Nicked me. I've got witnesses. <laughs> I've got witnesses, hasn't yes. she? She's nicked me Evic. Got put black sleeves on it. So it's no longer stainless steel and heavy. It's now light and I black. I honestly thought you'd gifted it to her. So did I. Didn't think she nicked it. Sam. No, no. Well, you see, it, when, when, when we got married, you know how you do. You go through. I didn't realise what we'd said. But apparently, what she was saying, what was it? What's mine is hers, and what's hers is our own. Right. So everything of mine is hers, that's it. But I thank you, funny trickster. What's yours is hers, day day, and what's hers is hers. She could well be listening, of She course. is, she's Did next door. Um, I know that, yeah. You're listening, yeah. aren't you, pet? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> oh, <gee>. oh God! <laughs> no, she sits and listens to the show, and if I if I, I if I put a foot wrong, I get clipped when I go out. It's all right. No point saying if it I think I've had. I think I've had enough men. Though. I I think you, yeah, I, think I, 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 I couldn't be doing much. Um, that out. So yes, there, there. I'll, I'll do the close up on the button because we have the facility sort of do. Um, there it is, in all its close upiness, and it has all of the little lightly uppy bits that you would expect. Ooh, so if you give it, ooh, hang on, there we go. One, two, three, and it switches off. One, two, three, and you get the little disco lights little flashing. Disco. Oh, oh, disco, and, oh, disco. Oh, little disco lights. Um, and for those that don't know what an MVP does on the bottom, you should be able to see in rather good detail there, yes. though not very level, that you've got an output and those who have been watching for a while might recall that a little while ago I ran the show off an MVP Yes, I remember. because my iPad went flat the bit that I used to control it so it's a little um, a USB a little mini micro USB over there and you can switch that on or off that's got nothing to do with the, the eSig that's just to use it as a, as a charging port and the output is, is the full size USB and I'm trying to do it upside down and backside form so I'm not very good at doing, doing things like that. Um, the, uh, the display is, as, I, as we showed you earlier, and I think, and I'm going to need some help here, is this blue or green or is it purple? That's blue. Purple. 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 And thus far, Alfie haven't brought it earlier today by what is obviously it's got to be the best way of doing it. It said between 1242 and 142. Mm. It was at 12.53 precisely. I looked at the clock. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Did you have the kettle on for him? No, 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 no. Let's no. let's not go too far. Alfie. <laughs> yeah. it's good lad Alfie. He's always coming on he always comes on time. Ladies love him. Oh, yeah. Aye, I'm sure. <laughs> Some fellas do as well, but ah. Who might say anything? Um, what? <laughs> Never said a word. <laughs> Never said. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, uh, stop okay. it. <coughs> Mark Shaw's put it right. I will buy an MVP2 and file it under market research to justify yet another mod. Oh, I like your way of thinking, Mark Shaw. That's what I do. Market research. Market research. It's but that that's it's got nothing to do with enjoying it. It's market research. Can you just say that louder, does then joking here? It's just market research, Jill. That's all it's for. The MVP. Yeah, <laughs> Doesn't sound very convinced. <coughs> She's thinking. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and yeah. So what else do you get in the box? 
back to close you up you come and zoom me out a bit zoom me out a bit whoa oh god i've got juice everywhere look at that move the vicious ant box so there's there's the box with all the gubbins that comes in so you get two of the iClear 16s you've got the the usb charge cable um and the, i've got to say again that the manual is actually proper it's written in proper english it's easy to read for a man with glasses on everything's properly labeled it tells you exactly how to do everything you need to do it took no work in i don't understand don't, it would I? you would you don't have oh. to guess you have no need to guess it's got everything you want you have a look at that keith it tells you everything you need to know it's even got proper disposal instructions for if and when the battery dies and the whole things drop the bits um and even how to refill your clay oh that's good yes so it's all there it's all there everything that you would need to know beautifully presented beautifully packaged and it seems to work beautifully mm. but i shall report back as time goes by um i think it's worth a punt and i do i do i think it's well i'm quite keen on all of the yeah. uh, the eye taste stuff yeah. the unicorn stuff yeah. it's good oh that's keith saying to now saves him buying the, saves him buying the daily mail he's got plenty to read <laughs> <laughs> the daily mail and you don't need your wind up torch don't need your wind up no. torch no no yes because ah, we, we, we have power outages up here, but when we have power outages, they're not just any power outages. They're, uh, they're Marks and Spencer power outages. The, the, the thing goes off at four o'clock and you get a little text to say, we've put the fuse back in. Uh-huh. No, it's not translated English. No, it's it? proper English. Proper English. It's been written by somebody that speaks English. Yes. It's not Chingrish. Oops. It's the proper, you reckon it? I don't know, you give him menthol and he just goes do that. He does. I blame Sav. Ah, it's the menthol, yes. Has an effect on the brain. Ah, it now, Ego Maniac has said he loves most of the Unikin kit, but they sort of screwed the pooch with the 134. You're not going to like next week's show then. Or the week after. We're looking at the 134. I'm getting two of them. I'm trying to think which one's the 134. It's the one that looks like a Gatlin gun. Ah, I've been dying to see what that's. That's oh, right. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. it's something else. It's totally very Very, different. totally very, very. Um, now, I'm going to try and do something I've never done before, and this is try, I'm going to try and bring some pictures in on the fly uh, because there were requests made last night. There were? There were, yes. Somebody said they wanted to see holiday photos. Oh, dear. <coughs> Holiday photos. So I'm going to need to just edit this shot a little bit so I've got some sound on it. And we'll bring the holiday photos in. Uh, where am I? Built in input. That's the one we want. Um, somebody said they wanted to see holiday photos of boobs. I haven't got a photo of the boobs, uh, but I do have a photo of the sunshade that I was laid under. That's that's enough for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, does anybody want another look? That menthol's just went. It, it has. Oh, it's it's your eyes up. Bedlam the night. Is it really? <laughs> Never <laughs> thought there was a pornographic there. element. No, it wasn't. Yeah. This was. Uh, this is the girl that was cleaning the flat out. As you can see. That was our cleaner. Poor girl. What do you mean, poor girl? <laughs> she went everywhere with a wheelbarrow. I was going to no, say, she, I was yes, in the so wheelchair, one of the two. <laughs> I think she needs a shopping trolley. Oh, dearie me. Yes, there we go. Um, I've got some more photos I want to show you as well. Um, this is going to be fun. And I'm, I really am just working this on the fly. I told you this was really unscripted. Um, you, might, you might remember that on, on Saturday, uh, August 31st, the German contingent had their rallies in Dusseldorf and Berlin. There's no sound on these, I haven't put them in, they, they, these just came across to me earlier on today and thanks to Kat for getting them over me, uh, over to me, um, try and keep some, some, some kind of just flicking through them. 2,000 people protesting about ACs. Um,
I'm, I'm just coming back in for a little bit of sound. I'm so proud of what they achieved. There you go. Now, there's more on that on Tuesday Gons DE Talk. Even if you don't speak German, go and have a look at it. What an absolutely cracking job our German brethren did. I'm so proud to be associated yeah. with them. I'm, I, I really am. Kudos. Absolute kudos. Amazing that, isn't it? Yeah, 2,000 folks in Dusseldorf and Berlin making a hell of a noise. And apparently they were, they were attracting crowds left, right and centre. Mm. Um, DE Talk has got lots and lots of information. Even, even if you don't speak German, you'll understand the pictures. Watch Tuesday night show. It's, it's available on video on demand. Go and watch it. Amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. So proud. So proud. Ah. Yeah, absolutely. You could you know? see the hairs. The more you the could, nice yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, that wasn't fog. That was the video. Yeah, right, yeah. Like, yes. Absolutely right. I mean, all... They'd, they'd be... Yeah. Amazing. All amazing stuff. Tell you what, um, shall we take a quick break? Yeah. And when we, when we, when we come back from the break, uh, we're going to have a look at the Kraken. It's my new love. That's all I'm going to say. See you in a couple of minutes. And we're back in the room. Yes, without any echo. I've remembered to do that tonight. No echo. No echo. No. It's all good. What you got on there now? Pro tank. Yes. Like them, don't you? I do. Yes. We're Pretty not much so. Are we going to tell people about you coming round last week? I'll leave that to you. No, no, it's, it's no, fair. no, I mean, no. It, yeah, just, it's it, uh, it wasn't working very well, was it? It wasn't. No. Because the coil yeah. <laughs> blocked itself up after yes. six weeks of usage. At least six weeks. At least six weeks. Six weeks out of a coil. Good, that. Put the new coil in. And it fired away again. There you go. That's all you need to know, innit? Amazing you know. stuff. Talking about new coils. That's what I was doing at the top of the show, wasn't it? Yes, you were. I just love the way you get yourself all prepped, or you think you've got yourself all prepped up for a show. And just as you're about to go in it, you press the button and the coil goes bang. So you've got to recoil it because you're going to be showing the thing. And the thing in question is the Kraken. The Kraken. And here it is. It doesn't look much at the minute because I've got it taken to bits, I suppose is the word. Yes. You will note the construction is relatively uh, familiar, shall we say. You've got, I shall find a pointing implement. That there is where you put the juice in. Get it right up there. Mm -hmm. That there's where you put the juice in. Not as I did. I tried to cut it in there first time. Idiot. Really? 
<laughs> didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> right. So I hadn't seen that there was grub screws here that take an Allen key, which comes with it. Right. right. So I've got it coiled up single. You've got your two negatives here, which are, are uh, crosshead screws, and a crosshead screw there. You get an Allen key so you can set it up for whether you want single or dual wicks. And as you can see, it's set up single wick. Now, if you notice on this one, I'm going to zoom in and show you. I am a klutz, grade one, class A klutz. You might see that I've cracked the tank. Oh. It's quartz. The tank is quartz. But I'll show you something else. And, and the, the, the really eagle-eyed people will realise what I'm doing here. If you look there, you can see the serial number. Yes. Yeah. 38 of 75, going up the centre sleeve. Um, I'll just lie it down there for the minute. Whoops, it's gone out of shot. Bring it back into shot, David. And I can tell you now, that will not leak. It will not leak. But that's kind of part of uh, the whole cracking experience, if you like. But if I go to uh, show you the, the lid, and here we are, we'll start with it the right way up. That's the way you would kind of look at it. And you'll see his little slot there with a, well, it's a blocked off slot. Mm. But if I turn it around to where its name is, cracking, hope everybody can see that mm -hmm. you'll see there's another slot and this is where I'm gonna go zooming right in if I get this right it'll be brilliant you see that all right yeah okay now then ooh so tight if I now turn the top if I've got it the right way around come on work I need to do it this way. I'm too close. You can see a tiny little wee hole there. Yes. And as you turn the whole thing, the top end, this bit here, the hole gets bigger or gets smaller. And I'm going to need a cloth. My fingers are all sticky because I'm covered in juice. That's it. So there you go. You can see oh, yeah. it slides around um, and you can adjust the airflow into both for, for if it was dual wick for if it was dual wick so you've got an airflow hole on either wick mm. right. which is a little bit clever I think it's very very clever well, be, I'm thinking it would be rather intense with two wicks and coils I don't go there yet mm. I really don't go there yet Oh, we're getting phone calls. Sorry. It's okay. We've got we've got the door open because it's hot as a uh, very hot thing in here at the minute. Right, so let's uh, put the the lid on. So you've still got it on one wick. I've got it on one wick. Yes, I'm quick, but I'm not that quick. And we'll attach it to a device and. Uh, Stick one of Gary Dibley's metal drip tips in. He's uh, he's been having made, and we'll give it a blast. Mhm. Mm of course, I've adjusted the airflow out of all kilter, haven't I? As you do when you're an idiot like me. Ah, <sighs> talk amongst yourselves. I've got myself so <laughs> sticky. <coughs> I'm so sticky, not sticky, what's the word I'm looking for? Claggy. Clammy. Claggy. I'm just juicy, I'm slippy, is what I am. Right. And I can't grip to turn the air holes back so that it's slotted right. Ha. Ah. That's it, we're moving. Right, I can now show this back where we were. Let's go back to camera four and let's just move that out of the way and just zoom out a little touch. There's the air hole fully open and as I turn it I'm not getting a grip again. 
work your pig. Oh, I hate it when this happens. It was smooth as a baby's bum earlier. That's it. We're wide open, so it'll be a nice easy draw. Right. Here goes. Don't even know if I've got the damn thing screwed on right. We light lighting up or not? It was flashing. Oh god. That means I've bugged the coil again. Oh dear. There we go. That's better. A nice orange light there. Yes. That's good. That's that's just Ready <laughs> incense. I was thinking. It's a bit like a Vickers handbag, isn't it? Is that what they call them? What have I done here? Eh? I've done it again. Ow! Yeah, that's what I tend to do that a lot as well. Right. There you go. Yes, I'd shorted it out, Brian. I had, uh, yes. And I think it looks gorgeous. Is that with the earth floor right, right, right open? open? It's right open. Lung it. Lung it. <sighs> oh, yeah. I know you love that. There you go. Beautiful. Isn't it though? Yes. So, I mean, coiling and wicking aside, yeah, it's very, actually it's actually easy to do. Mm. Um, I just pull the wick together in a the bit of a rush. I can understand as well completely to do with the airflow on, on a jenny. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, but within the next week or two, I'm going to try the the two, two wick. Yeah. Job with the airflow over yeah, there. That, that, that yes. Mm. yes. I th I see it's very intense though with two. two oh, coils. it'll be. I mean, I it's going to be. So. Absolutely. Yes. And I mean, given that just with you know just like with the one. Vape. Yeah. Is there any of them trying to think if there's any other jelly tanks which take a dual coil? Fair few. Mm. There's a fair few, but uh, this, I just, I love the look of it. I love the airflow control yeah. on it. I think that is just stunning. Um, and I've got to be honest, I've made a mess of things being so slipped up, so slippy. Um, but it just works really well. I've tightened it up now. Can't say what I'm doing. That's the trouble. Got the wrong damn glasses on. Can't say what I'm doing. Better? No, I've tightened it up. Again. There's two sets of air holes, so you can have just one um, one air hole working over the wick, or the two air holes working either side. That's better. It's moving now. I just can't see where I'm at. I can't see the mind. That's a drag that Chris would love. Yeah, I was going to say I could, I could hear it. Really tight. Hmm. Yes, you would, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> mhm. Mm They're not the cheapest on the planet. I'll freely admit that, but it works so well. Um, that's it. Bob the saying. Random wants to know what you're using the wick with it. Um, it's 200 grade mesh, stainless steel mesh, with 36 AWG uh, canthal. Mm. Um, and 
now that I've got the air hole in the right place and the wick properly done, because it was rushed right at the beginning of the show, this is working a dream. I love it. Might have shorted the wick out again. I've, that'll teach us. I'm not sure what it'll teach us, but I'm sure it'll teach us something. There we go. That's it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Wiccan's like, don't know how you make at the minute. Mm. Um, but the build quality is absolutely superb. Available from uh, e -Sigs with a Z. e uk. I think it's one of those things you'll you'll either love or you'll hate. It's not cheap. It isn't cheap. Um, but if you want quality, it's definitely that. Yeah. It's definitely quality. Um, I like it. You can tell that, can't you? Oh, yeah. it is. It's really, really, really rather nice. Really rather nice. And we're, uh, we're blasting on. Yeah, Liana, seriously, honestly, truthfully, I had two minutes before the show to put this together. She said she wouldn't want to pay that much for a wick that shorts when you put the cap on. I, I literally redid it in five minutes before we came live. Um, if that. In an absolute mm. panic. If I'd taken me time and done the job properly, it's been running perfectly. In actual fact, this is the only Genesis I've ever had that hasn't leaked on me. And Sav is in chat and she'll confirm this. While we were away in Brussels, I took this with me because I wanted to be able to show all sorts of various different things. This was put into my jacket pocket, which has been laid flat. It's been chucked over the back of chairs. It's been all over the place and it's never leaked a drop. Not one drop. As Sav is my witness, she's there and we'd have known because it was in me, in me, uh, me jacket pocket and it would have come through. You'd have seen it from miles. It's never leaked a drop. It's the only Jenny I've ever had that I would be quite happy to just lay down on the table like that. And you saw yourself yeah. when, when we came in. I had it, was it laid down. It was on the back. It was. It was, it was, also, it was on top of the Mac. Sat on top yeah. of the Mac. And it, it just is not leaking a drop. Um, and I've not come across that. As I say, the build quality on this is absolutely superb. Uh, I do need to get a new glass for it. The fact that it's cracked is my fault. I dropped it. Um, but I like it. Mm. I do like it. I think these guys are building some really good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a lovely tank. It's really but there you go. It's, it's never leaked. And that, that's kind of got to be uh, a good thing, you know. That's from Vicious Ant via uh, e-cigs, two g's and a z, dot co, dot uk. Um, and I believe cracking e-cigs are doing them as well. Yeah. But as they are. In Geordie parlance, it's cracking. The cracking. Cracking. The cracking's cracking. Oh, it's cracking. Cracking, cracking. Oh, it's cracking, aye. Oh, it's definitely cracking. Um, right, let's shall we have a look at this other thing? Yes. Just very, very quickly. Very it's just, this is kind of uh, our two. It, it's going to be coming to uh, here's our near to you quite soon. Um, and it's it's the thing that came in this great big white box here, and it's called a V Pro. And I've just made a mess of the box. <coughs> this is it. It might look familiar to you. It might well look familiar to you. Yep. I couldn't quite make out, but it, I think it's the VMAX case is what it is. I'll take off this device I've got on it. Um, and Daz was sent it uh, to have a look at. And uh, he brought it across because we're really not awfully sure about it. If I go through the menus and try and get everything in the right place, you can tell them how to practice. You can see that at first it'll tell you what voltage you're on. It won't do anything without it. It won't do anything. You've got to have a device on in order for it to do anything. You can't set it with no device on. So right, let's go again. There we go. So one is voltage up. Mm -hmm. And we're at six volts, right? Two oh. is the switch on oh. or off. We'll leave it on. Okay. Three is the condition of the battery which tells me we're at 3.8 volts mm -hmm. four tells you the resistance is 2.6 ohms right. okay we know that five is light on light off okay wax on wax off, wax on, wax off. don't 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 do the other one <laughs> 
or we'll all be in trouble. <laughs> Let's go to six, which is power up. And you'll see it's set to 20 watts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. 20 watts on the device I've got it on should burn that coil out. Mm -hmm. Now. It's not burning it out, my God. No, what it's showing, if I press the button and go there, is 06. O five. O five. It's going at five watts, mm. and I cannot see how to change it between yeah. voltage and power. Mm -hmm. I think what it's showing you is how many watts is actually going out. Mm -hmm. But what we need to do is to put it onto the meters and the the oscilloscopes and everything else. It feels nice enough for the hand, mm. but it just it's not doing twenty watts. No. Mm. That much I can guarantee. Feels it nice does. enough, Keith. But I'm it pretty does, sure it's, yeah. you know, doesn't look bad. Feels yeah. nice. It's yeah. light. It, it seems nice. to be reasonably mm. well built. But I can't work out how to use it. I can't work out how to get it into power mode. Yeah. It says on the tin that it does power, variable power. And it says on the tin it does variable voltage. But unlike that MVP version 2, mm. there's no easy way to set no. it. That I can find. Uh, no doubt we'll get more information. Yes. But uh, that there is the Vapro, and that there <coughs> brings us to the end of the show. The lads will be taking their arrows away with them and uh, report back <coughs> next time. Absolutely. Yes, yes. That will um, be cool. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. My apologies for what has been a less than brilliantly scripted show <laughs> with. Uh, with, with I've been a little bit busy and getting back into the swing of it's not been as easy as it might have been. Yeah. Well, often these ad libbing things. Uh, uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been nice getting everybody back okay. together. I can hear. Can you hear Cat going? She's getting ready. Get off, Dawn. <laughs> she's going to see it. You'll hear Get it. Off, Dawn. There you are. And you. And you. I could hear it coming. Um, it's been a great pleasure sharing the last hour with you, with my friends and Cat. Uh, it's been great and it's lovely to be back doing the Here's Hour and VT Talk again. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, everybody again soon. What have we got on Sunday, Chris? Is it uh, Team Talk? We have Team Talk on Sunday. Team Talk. Yes. Team Talk on Sunday. Gary Dibley is doing naked modding with blood and bones falling out of his arm on Monday. Apparently, that was what he said in the Skype chat last night, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Tuesday night, Mark was back, isn't he? Mark was back. Mark was back on Tuesday and Wednesday night VT Talk will be back and then after that we'll be back. We will. Yes. And DE Talk on Tuesday. Of course, well. DE Talk on Tuesday night after Mark or show. Sorry, thanks Kat. Um, it's it's going to be a feature packed week. It's going to be a fun packed week. It's going to be amazing and I'm looking forward to watching all of them uh, until we see you next time. Vip on, vip hard and nil carborundum illegitimous because we're not the same sort of shows VT oh. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Take Bye care. Bye. 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 Bye.